After Adrian Newey announced that he was leaving Red Bull in kind of April, May time, we were all wondering if this was the end of the road for Formula One's greatest designer. 25 championships he has under his belt so far, with even more to come if Red Bull can hold on to the championships this season. And now we have confirmation that it's not the end of Adrian Newey, but instead he will be taking up a position at Aston Martin for the 2025 season. Lawrence Stroll is continuing to spend big for Aston Martin and build that team's reputation in Formula One. One, from a brand new factory that's been built, a brand new wind tunnel at Silverstone, an exclusive engine partner in Honda coming in from 2026. And there's even more money to come with two prominent US funds coming in to acquire around about 20 to 25% of the Formula One team. It does feel like Adrian Newey is just the next piece of the puzzle for Aston Martin and one that could be decisive. Obviously, a lot of teams would have been in discussions with Adrian Newey over the summer, but the selling point that tipped him towards Aston Martin was not only the fact that he'll be paid supposedly in and around $30 million, only two drivers are paid more than that in Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton on the grid, by the way, but also he will have a shareholding within the team and a, a freedom to reshape their entire technical structure in the way that he wants to as the managing technical partner. I feel like this is one of the main reasons why Ferrari maybe weren't able to get this deal done. They weren't willing to bend to what Newey wanted in terms of restructuring their entire aero and technical department in the way that he wants it to be. Whereas at Aston Martin, there's been a lot of recent hires there anyway. And as I said, with building the factory and building the wind tunnel, he has a little bit more scope to restructure the departments within Aston Martin the way he wants it to be and oversee these new beginnings at Aston Martin with those recent hires. I personally am really excited to see how Adrian Newey and Dan Fallows link up once again. They worked together for what, 15 years at Red Bull between 2006 and 2021 one obviously putting together the foundations and the building blocks that became the 2022 Red Bull car, which absolutely dominated the field. And of course, then became the 2023 Red Bull car, which was the most dominant car in Formula One history. Those two putting together the foundations for that and Adrian Newey continuing that whilst Dan Fallows did go off to Aston Martin at the beginning of this regulation cycle. It'd be really interesting to see them two come back together again with another technical regulation cycle coming up for 2026 with Dan Fallow staying on as the head of aerodynamics even though Adrian Newey is still coming into the team which does make me feel like Aston Martin are willing to allow Adrian that kind of floating role that he has at Red Bull where he kind of dips in and out of different areas of the technical department and gets involved and influences the areas that he thinks he's needed However, I do on the flip side of that have a little bit of a concern that some of the people that have signed up to be part of the Aston Martin team from 2025 onwards were signed before Adrian Newey was supposed to be part of the team and how that will gel. The Aston Martin team really need to be careful that they still have a harmonious feeling throughout the team moving into 2026 and that Adrian Newey doesn't become just the sole person that is in charge of everything. However, they have got time to put things in place because Newey can't start working there until March 1st of 2025. He is still technically a Red Bull employee up until that point. Although at this time, he's probably got his eye on Aston Martin, particularly the 2026 season, because it feels like perfect timing for Aston Martin to get him in right at the beginning of 2025. The 2026 regulations would have been completely gone through and finalized. And therefore, he can just focus on 2026 rather than having to worry too much about 2025 at all. Although they had an amazing start to the 2023 season with Fernando Alonso picking up numerous podiums, since then, it has been a bit of a regression for the team. You could even argue that at the start of this season, they were on par with Mercedes for the first few races. and They've gone in completely different directions with Mercedes winning Grand Prix in recent memory and Aston Martin being lucky to be inside the top 10 at points this year. However, as I mentioned before, it feels like way too late in this regulation cycle for Aston Martin to change around their fortunes and suddenly become a race winning team. So I feel like Adrian Newey and the Aston Martin team have kind of given up on a 2025 championship battle and instead will be solely focused on 2026. And I know that a lot of Formula One teams kind of roll out that next year will be our year trope, but Aston Martin going into 2026 feel like they could be the real deal. It does feel like every single piece that they've been trying to get into that team is falling into place just at the right time. They obviously have 
their new campus and factory. It'll finally be finished going into 2026. They have their own works power unit manufacturer in Honda that Adrian Newey has worked with recently at Red Bull and won championships with at Red Bull. They've signed a championship caliber driver in Fernando Alonso for the long term. Another thing that Adrian Newey said he was really excited about, the fact that he finally gets to work with Fernando Alonso because they've always seemed to find themselves at rival teams throughout their time in Formula One together. Bringing in the most successful designer in Formula One history seems like it can only make things better. And Aston Martin, looking forward to 2026, seemed like they could be the real deal. Of course, there's still a lot of things to play out and there's still regulations that haven't been finalized yet. But if Adrian Newey can come into the Aston Martin team and can really hit the ground running and master these regulations above the likes of Mercedes, McLaren, Ferrari, Red Bull, who also are doing incredible things and will also have their eyes on 2026 World Championship glory. But it does feel like Aston Martin have properly entered the conversation and I'm really excited to see what the green team can do come 2026.